At this point, I'd like to discuss the Jeremiad. The Jeremiad is a rhetorical device that began in 17th century America in the form of a Puritan sermon. In her article, Forms of Puritan Rhetoric, Donna M. Campbell defines the historical elements of the Jeremiad. It's from her article that I discovered the following. The term Jeremiad refers to a sermon or another work that accounts for the misfortunes of an era as just penalties for great social and moral evils, but it holds out hope for change that will bring about a happier future. The Jeremiad is derived from the Old Testament prophet Jeremiah, who in the 7th century BC attributed the calamities of Israel to its abandonment of the covenant with Jehovah and its return to pagan idolatry. The Jeremiad called on the people to repent and reform in order that Jehovah might restore them to his favor and renew the ancient covenant. Now, according to Sak von Berkovich and his book, The American Jeremiad, the Jeremiad was a call to action. Although the Jeremiad created anxiety through a recitation of current woes, Jeremiads also reassured listeners by evoking the spirit of a glorious past and suggesting that that same spirit, now slumbering but able to be awakened, existed in the present day. So that's the function and the history of the Jeremiad, but it doesn't explain what the Jeremiad is in an actual working term. In working terms, the Jeremiad is a template. It began as a template for a sermon that would deeply affect a congregation. Today, the Jeremiad is still a template consisting of four key structural components. The sermon or the story is then built upon those four elements. So I'd like to define those four elements of the Jeremiad now, and much of this information was derived also from Donna Campbell's article, as well as Jennifer English's article, The Rhetoric of Wally. So the first key component of the Jeremiad is that the rhetor must remind the audience of the previously established sacred covenant. The speaker points to sacred texts or the teaching of a spiritual leader as the basis for the covenant. The second element of the Jeremiad is the rhetor outlining how the audience has failed to live up to that covenant and how this failure has brought about the disaster the community is currently experiencing. The third element of the Jeremiad is the speaker encouraging the audience to restore the sacred promise and return to its core principles. Finally, the rhetor reminds the audience that if they follow the rules, return to the covenant, then the community will be restored from disaster. The Jeremiad allows for the possibility of redemption, but only if the community restores its previous values.